Look at the go baseline. Everybody knows it. He beats him and jams it down. Everybody knows he's going there. Barkley almost tore the ring down. Oh, do it, Mr. Barkley. Let's talk about draft night. Ernie, let me tell you this story. So, this, I just, the 76ers bring me in a month before the draft. And I weigh 300 pounds. So, uh, the Sixers bring me in and say, we want to see how dedicated and motivated you are. We want you to lose 10 pounds in the next month, get to 290. Did so, you think that's easy? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought it was easy. So I go down to Texas with my agent and play. I actually get down about 285. So the, uh, Philadelphia wants me to stop on my way to New York the day before the draft. So I, I, I'm wearing, I'm about 285 at this point. My agent sits me down. Remember, they had a hard salary cap back then. He says, well, I think the Sixers might draft you. The only problem is you're going to sign a one-year deal for $75,000. I said, dude, I didn't leave college for a one-year deal for $75,000. So he says, well, the Sixers, they're over the cap. That's what they can give you. I said, I, well, I don't want the Sixers to draft me. So that night, we went out. I had two big old steaks. Big plate of French fries, ate like a whole cake. So what were you, 301? Got, <laughs> no, oh, no, dude. Got up the next morning, went to like uh, IHOP, ate like 10 pancakes, a pound of bacon, fly to Philadelphia, get on the scale, I'm 302. <laughs> and the guy says, and Harold Cass says, are you kidding me? I don't let you not lose the 10 pounds. You gained like five pounds. You thought you had eaten your way out of Philadelphia. I did. <laughs>